What's up everybody, the code holic is back. In today's video, I want to talk about an editor config file. What is an editor config file? How you can create, what advantages it has, and basically everything around the editor config file. So by the end of this video, you will know for sure what's an editor config file, how you can create, how you can configure it to your needs. All right, what is an editor config file? Editor config file is a file type which gives you possibility to preserve consistency when you work in a team and you have multiple team members on the same project. Editor config file is a text format file and you configure it according to your needs, according to your language or framework, and then you forget about it and basically IDE, your IDE or editor, takes care of preserving that consistency which you configured previously in your editor config file. Before we start, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe and the notification bell button to be informed for my upcoming videos. Okay, let's start with the um, format of an editor config file. So right here I have a fresh new installed project of Laravel. Also, I'm going to show you at the end of this video how you can install the proper editor config extension if you are not a phpstorm user and for example if you develop on vs code i'm going to show this how you can do that now let's go to the editor config file and the laravel project i have installed comes with um, existing editor config file but i'm going to actually delete this editor config file and first of all explain with basics and then i'm going to revert my deletion actually i'm going to copy everything and then delete and then I'm going to revert this and you will see how easily you can read an existing editor config file. Let's start with the uh, basic format of an editor config file. Each line in an editor config file can be one of the four types. It can be just a new line, empty new line. It can be a comment which starts with either hashtag, some comment, or, the, or with semicolon, okay, another comment. So, new line, comment, um, a section header, which basically is uh, everything in a square brackets, okay? And inside the square brackets, we write file matching globe expressions. And I'm going to show you what is globe expressions, uh, what are globe expressions, if this is not familiar for you. And after the section header, we write some key value pairs, okay? the section header using the section header we match those files on which we want to apply some key value pairs for example if i write asterisk this means that i want to match every file in my project and apply some rules on those files okay if i write asterisk.js this means that i want to match every js file okay obviously if i write dot css this means i want to match every css file in my project i can even combine those two like i want to match every css file and every js file and apply some rules on that okay i can even write specific file like i want to match composer json file and apply some rules on that okay i can also do that Actually, let's go to the official documentation. Okay, let's scroll at the very top. So we can see um, wildcard patterns right here. Uh, and we can see that the asterisk matches any single character except path separators. The double asterisk matches any single character, including these path separators. Question mark matches a single character, a name. This matches basically any single character in the name. This reverses this. And we see that like this one matches S1 or S2 or S3. And we have these um, matches in a range of numbers. So basically, I'm going to go to the formal specification of editor config. And right here, uh, I think everything is slightly better explained right here. So down below, we see the terminology and file format and everything. And here we have these globe expressions as well. Okay, one uh, important thing to note right here. These globe expressions is not specific to editor config file. This is very common for um, other systems like on Linux, it is very heavily used. There exists, a, I think, glob, the package is called glob, 
um, on Node.js. Um, yeah, and it, it also uses these club expressions. And if you if you note that the asterisk basically matches any single character except the path separator, which obviously means that this one should only match the files which are in the root directory. So if I go in the PHP storm and if I write here asterisk, so this basically should match every file which is inside uh, the root directory, which basically uh, does not, uh, the path does not include the slash. Okay, you get the point. So for example, this will match, um, let me write a comment. Okay, up JS, it will match something JS, it will match any file basically, like even dot, um, I don't know, dot PHP, it will match any file, even of the file without an extension, but it should not match like up slash um, main JS. It should not match according to the globe expression specification. Okay, but there's one thing which is not mentioned on the official documentation of editor config. And that is one parameter which is applied right here in the editor config. And that's called match base. Okay, uh, the match base uh, parameter basically defines that if the globe expression does not contain slash inside, then this is applied to any directories and any subdirectories. Okay, so this basically matches everything, every file in root directory or in subdirectories as well. Okay, fine. Now let's apply some rules. Okay, and let's have a look at the uh, rules. What rules do we have? Um, okay, supported peers. So these are some key value peers. Like we have indent style, whether we want indentation to be tab using tab or space. We have indent size, what should be the indentation size if it is set to space. Okay, if we set the indent style to tab, what should be the tab width? Okay, what should be the end of line for each line? We have three options LF, CR, and CRLF. What should be the char set of each file? whether we should trim tra trailing white space or not, whether we should insert final new line or not, and whether this editor config file is a root or not. So there are quite few options and it's, it's very easy to actually remember if you write editor config files often. Okay, let's go in our uh, editor config file and actually I'm gonna configure it uh, like I would do for, for a production, okay? So this is actually an editor config file which has root true. Okay, so for every file, I'm going to set indent, indent style to be on space. So as I mentioned, we have uh, three options. Uh, actually, we have two options according to the documentation, tab or space, um, tab or space. We have also unset. The unset basically, I'm going to explain this unset, okay, in, in, in one minute, okay. Let's set this into space. Indent size, I'm going to set this into four. I'm going to set the char set on UTF-8. I'm going to set end of line to be LF or CRLF. Let's say, set CRLF. Um, okay, let's set also final um, trim, uh, insert final new line. Okay, so let's set this and assign it to true. Okay, so I configured every file in my project. Okay, and if I go now in any file, like let's open the very first uh, PHP file and the it's already actually formatted using uh, four spaces one two three four but if I go in the editor config file and change this four into eight for example save this and format my file using code uh, and reformat code okay so this is now formatted using eight eight spaces okay so let's go back and revert this change and format this okay now I'm going to override a couple of things for here. So for example, for every JS file, I want to change something and I want to set the indent size to be two. Okay, cool. And I'm going to do the same thing for CSS as well. For every JS and for every CSS file, I'm going to set, I need to delete this. I'm going to set the indent size to be two. I'm going to change something for composer JSON as well. Like for composer JSON, I'm going to set the indent size to be two as well. 
Okay, I can do this right here as well. Right here as well. Okay, or I can do a separate section for that. That's okay. I'm going to do a separate section at the moment. Okay, and using this approach, I'm going to basically match any file I want in my project using a full name like composer JSON or using these globe expressions. I'm going to match, for example, those files which are under resources. Uh, oops, resources, under resources. Uh, and if I write here asterisk.js, so this basically will try to match all the files which are directly inside resources folder. Okay. Because right now in my globe expression, I used forward slash, which is a path separator. Now this parameter behind the parameter match base was set to false. And I'm going to basically put a link in the video description. What, what I'm talking about, about the match base. Okay. But this match base was set to false. And now it basically will only match those files which are exactly inside the resources folder. And there are basically no JavaScript files inside the resources folder. Also, my PHPStorm makes this text grayed out because there are no, and if I mouse over, it tells me that no files under resources are basically uh, found. Okay. But if I change this asterisk into double asterisk, this basically means any JS file which is in a resources folder or inside subfolders of resources. Okay. And I'm going to apply now different style for indent size to be set to like um, eight, for example. Okay. So for any file, I set the indent size to be four. For JS and CSS, I set CSS. I set indent size to be two, composer JSON two. And for any JS which is under resources.js, uh, it's set to eight. Now, if I open this bootstrap.js and uncomment this JavaScript code, and if I format the uh, code, it's set into eight spaces, okay? Because, oops, actually that config is, starts working. If I copy this file in a root uh, folder of the project, okay, and format this, it's formatted using two spaces because for every JS and CSS, I set the indent size to be two. Okay. So I think that's, that's pretty clear. So I'm going to do using unset. So what does unset do? So basically every uh, key value here, every key basically has one of the values to be unset, which means that I completely remove for, for those files, I completely remove indent size um, from editor config. And now the ID or editor will use from its default configuration. Okay. Sorry for the noise. Okay. If I open now PHPStorm's default configuration and go into indentation right here. Okay. I find this uh, JavaScript file and inside tabs and indents, I set this. Uh, it's, it's basically set into two. So if I set this into some ridiculous number like 16, for example, top size is 16 and the indent is set to 16. Okay. And I can set this into 16 as well. So hit okay on that. And for resources JS, I set this into unset. So basically for a bootstrap JS file, which is inside the root of the project, the indentation will be two. But for those JavaScript files, which are inside resources, if I format that the indentation is taken from the IDs default settings. Okay. I think that actually makes sense. So I'm going to revert these changes. I don't want that into two, two and four. And I'm going to show you one other thing, which is a nested inner editor config file. Okay. In my resources or in any folder you want, you can actually create sub um, editor config file dot editor config. And right here, you should not specify root corresponds to true because the file matching comes from bottom to top. Okay. So basically when uh, the ID is about to format or apply the editor config values to it, it starts searching editor config files from bottom to top.
So in this case, if I'm about to make some changes right here in this bootstrap JS, it will first consider this uh, editor config file and then the top one. If this editor config file has root true, then it's going to stop right here and it will not consider this editor config file, which is something we don't want in this case. Okay, so right here for any JavaScript file, I'm going to set the indent size to be again 16, which is some ridiculous number. But this editor config file starts working. Actually, let's set this into one. Okay. So now we go into Bootstrap JS and I'm going to format this and you see that the indentation is now just one, one space. Okay, so that actually proves that this editor config file starts working. Okay, let's actually see how I can install the proper editor config file in VS Code and then basically the rest of the things is the same. You just need to open the editor config file and configure it according to the specification. The rest of the things is managed by your IDE. Okay, let's open VS Code. And here is the extension, which basically I have already installed editor config for VS Code. It has over 4 million downloads at the moment while I'm recording this video. And that's it. So if you install that, then the editor config file is used by the VS Code and it's going to properly format everything. Okay, if you go in the resources, JS, Bootstrap JS and change this formatting and then try to save and it's going to format on save or try to format explicitly, it's going to use that. If I go in the editor config file, let's go in the nested editor config file and change this into 10, spacing into 10, go in the Bootstrap JS and reformat this, that so on 10 spaces. All right, guys, that's the end of this video and I hope you enjoy it. If you learned something new, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section what do you think about editor config file, whether it is necessary at all or not. If you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe and the notification bell button to be informed for my upcoming videos.